Good morning, guys. Somebody wanted to say hi back there. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, today's video we're making the um, raw vegan granola bars. And um, if you watched the video I just did before this one, I put the um, meal plan for this week in the description box. And for breakfast every day this week, we're having um, the granola bar. So I'm going to make enough where it will last me the seven days. And then for lunch today, I'm thinking I'm going to have fruit or salad. I'm not sure, but I'll show you guys and let you know what I'm having. And then for dinner is going to be, it's Monday, so it's the raw vegan um, cauliflower rice sushi rolls. And I will show you how I'm going to make that. But right now, we're going to make the raw vegan granola bars with these two back here. Yay! <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys how we make All right, it. You guys, so these these are the ingredients I have. You're gonna need a measuring cup, measuring cups, um, spoon measures. I don't know. I never know what these are called. Whatever you guys know, so that's all that matters. A small bowl for the um, wet ingredients. A large bowl for dry. You're gonna need cinnamon. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description box, you guys. So don't start freaking out on me. Um, you're gonna need oats. Um, for my um, granola bars, I'm adding dried cranberries. I'm using these um, raw cashews, walnut macadamia nuts for my nuts in my granola bar. The peanut butter of choice I'm using is the raw maple almond butter. I'm using maple syrup instead of agave and medjool dates. And I'm going to show you how we're going to put all this together to make the bars now. All right, so in a small bowl, you want to combine the wet ingredients, which is the, um, you know, nut butter of your choice for this one um like i said before i'm using the raw maple almond butter but you can use a raw cashew butter um any kind of nut butter you like and then to this you're going to want to add either a you're going to want to add a quarter cup of agave or maple syrup either one will work um, and then you want to just stir these two up so that they're um, completely combined together and it has like a creamy consistency All right, so once you're done with the wet ingredients, you set those to the side. And right here, I am prepping my dates to go into the fruit process processor. I actually don't have a fruit processor, so I'm going to do it in my blender, and you'll see that in a second. But I'm just um, pulling the dates apart um, and pulling out the seed or the pit that's in the middle. Um, you don't want to blend that up, obviously. So I'm just, um, you know, I'm doing it over and over again until I could fill up this um half cup full of the medjool dates and then i will put them in the blender and hit the pulse button until it pulses and the dates turn into like a crumble and you'll see that right here and this is what the end product looks like all right so now it's time to add everything together in a big bowl and create the granola bars so you just saw me dump in a cup of oats um, i just used regular old-fashioned oats now I'm adding in a cup of the um, mixed raw nuts I purchased from the grocery haul. This is a mix of um, pecans, cashews, and macadamia nuts. But you can use any you know kind of nuts you want. If you just want like peanuts or, or just walnuts, you can certainly do that. Um, this recipe is really versatile, so you can just add whatever you like in here and it'll be completely fine. And I'm adding in a quarter cup of dried cranberries and here you can use um, raisins if you want, any kind of dried fruit you like, um, coconut, but for me, I like cranberries and so do my children, so I'm adding in a quarter cup of cranberries here. And then I'm going to add in the um, medjool dates, and you'll see me drop those in there in a second, and then the almond butter, and then we're just going to stir everything around. Oops, I forgot to mention, I did add two dashes of cinnamon to the granola bar mixture. And now you see me adding in the almond butter maple mixture. We're just stirring it around. This did take me like a minute just to get everything well combined. Um, so you just want to keep stirring it until like the maple syrup and the peanut butter is all mixed in with the oats and the nuts. And then once you do that, you want to line a baking dish with parchment paper. Um, pour the mixture in the in the container that you're going to use and you want to kind of like smash it down with a spoon um, You can use a spoon spatula your hand whatever you want Just just want to mash it down until it's flat and um, you kind of get like all the air out and you shape it into like a big square and then um, Once it's smashed down to your liking 
you're just gonna take the um, container that you have, put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes, and then it'll harden, and then you'll be able to cut them into um, squares. I just wanna let you know that we did not do this. Uh, my kids couldn't wait. I left it in the freezer for about five minutes, and then they just started taking spoons and eating it, so. If you want it to be like in a bar form, um, like you see me here, just at this point, put it in the freezer, leave it there for like 20 minutes, then you can cut it in bars, um, wrap it in saran wrap or however you want to store it, and then you have your granola bars for the week. Breakfast, and I'm probably eating like two plates of this, but these are the granola bars. I didn't wait for them to firm up because I'm really hungry, <laughs> but um, they turned out really good. So I'm gonna eat the granola and I'm gonna have some banana. And then I have my bottle of water here. Um, I already had my 32 ounces of water with lemon this morning. Um, so now I'm just gonna eat this breakfast, drink the water, probably gonna eat some more of it, and then I will show you guys lunch in a bit. All right, so lunch today, you guys, was really simple. I just cut up a entire pineapple and me and the kids ate this for lunch. Um, we They ate this with a little bit of the granola, but mostly it was just the pineapple we had for lunch today with some water. And, um, you know, we're really starting to enjoy eating simply, you know, just eating like mono meals for lunch, um, simple things for breakfast. And then, you know, I really try to do, you know, something we've never had before for dinner, but, um, you know, just eating this fruit and drinking the water, we were all really full, um, all three of us ate the entire pineapple, so it wasn't just me eating this entire bowl. All right, it's dinner time. We are having raw vegan sushi. Um, right here, I chopped up an entire green pepper, a yellow pepper, a red pepper, orange pepper, and I have one whole avocado. Now, and I'm showing you here the um, nori sushi um, seaweed wraps that I'm going to use to make the sushi. And then in my blender, because I don't have a food processor, I have some cauliflower that I'm going to pulse until it turns into a rice-like consistency. And you see it right there. And that's going to be like the cauliflower rice for the sushi. And then when it's all pulsated, this is what it looks like. And you see me here creating my first... Um, sushi roll and I have never done this before so it's not gonna look the best I'm letting you know now but it tastes amazing it was so fresh and crunch so fresh and crunchy and um the amounts that I had chopped up originally were just for me but my kids wanted a bite when they saw me make it so then it ended up being like a family meal and I had to end up cutting more vegetables making more rice and chopping up more avocado but that was good. I really didn't expect them to like this at all, but both of my children, a 10 year old and a four year old, like loved it. So I was psyched about that. All right, so if you guys have ever made sushi before, you will see that I'm making a big mistake, a couple. First of all, I don't have a sushi roller, which you probably could make this without it, but you're supposed to wet the nori, and I didn't know that. So as I'm rolling it, it's like hard under my fingers. I can't really figure out why. It's like cracking, and I couldn't figure out why. I couldn't read the directions on the back because I bought it from an Asian market, and it was like in Chinese. So I had to YouTube it, and then I realized that you were supposed to wet the nori. So my first roll didn't come out that great, but I did learn with uh, we, we did when I did it with the kids and they wet their nori first so it was more pliable. So if you're making these for the first time, take the sheet, take um, your fingers and just dip it in the water bowl. You'll see next to Andre right there. And just kind of like wet it and then it just makes it easier for you to be able to roll it and then you'll be able to actually cut it once you form your roll. You guys, I'm sitting here and I'm watching this video and I am laughing so hard because none of these rolls look like sushi rolls. They literally look like burritos. And I probably should have said we're having raw vegan burritos, but you know, it is what it is. We tried our best. It was our first time making this and you know, I was just happy that the kids enjoyed it. You know, my kids were sitting here eating raw bell peppers and avocado and raw cauliflower and they're enjoying it and they were like fighting over making you know more rolls because they couldn't stop eating it 
And um, I was so psyched. I was so excited about it. I didn't expect them to, you know, like it. I knew I would like it because I like, you know, healthy food. But I didn't expect them to enjoy it and want to, you know, be raw with me. So I was very pleasantly surprised with how dinner turned out. And I'm right here. I'm showing you the um, Bragg's Liquid Aminos. We actually made like a dipping sauce of this. Um, we just poured it in a bowl and then dipped our sushi in it. But when you dip it, just make sure you only dip a little bit because it is very, very salty. Um, it's good, but it's very, very salty. And then right here, you see Amir making another roll. And we literally did this for like 30 minutes. We all just would make one, eat it, and then we make another one, eat it. And it turned out to be like the best dinner. So day five of the challenge, raw vegan sushi roll, burrito, wraps, whatever you want to call them, was definitely a hit. Right, that is it you guys, day five down. Thanks for watching.